welcome back to my kitchen. So today we're going to make a very special dish. This is a dish that my family loves and it's special because it can be served as breakfast or dessert. So what we're making is pina colada bread. Now in our household sometimes we call it bikini bottom bread or spongebob bread but regardless of what you call it, it is amazing. So please come with me, let me show you how to make this so we can enjoy it together. Okay, so let's talk about the ingredients we're gonna need to make it. First, let's start with the dry ingredients. So, first thing you're gonna need is three cups of all-purpose flour. Then you're gonna need one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of baking soda. You're gonna take those elements, put it in together, and then in a separate bowl, you will work on your wet ingredients. And now let's talk about the wet ingredients. So for the wet ingredients, you're gonna need one and a quarter cup canola oil, two ripe bananas, two cups of sugar, three eggs, one cup of crushed pineapple, one cup of coconut, you can use toasted, I'm not doing that today, I'm using regular, either works, and two teaspoons of vanilla. You will take all of that into one bowl and then combine your dry ingredients. And that is all the ingredients you need for the bread. And when the bread's finished, you need a few more ingredients to make the glaze. So let's talk about those. For the glaze, you're going to need half a cup of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of butter, three quarters cup of pineapple juice, and two tablespoons of cornstarch. Now, I want to talk briefly how you get the pineapple and the pineapple juice. All you need is one can of the crushed pineapple, and then you drain it and you use the juice from the drain. Then, of course, you're going to need your bread loaf to put the bread in. But those are all the ingredients we need. And so I'm very excited, so why don't I pull my hair back, put on an apron, and let's get to cooking. I want to get my hands dirty though, and you know who does not mind getting their hands dirty? The little boys. I wonder if I have one that can help me out. Carson? What? Can you help me smash some bananas? I get to smash stuff? <laughs> yeah, you do. Permission to do so, sir. You ready to go? Yes. Okay, you're gonna need gloves on for this first. You wanna put some gloves on? Yeah. This may be a little tricky. Let's try that. Okay, now you get your gloves on. You're gonna take these bananas and smash them into that bowl while I get the dry ingredients yeah. ready. I know, it feels weird. Okay, ready? All right. One teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna take one teaspoon of cinnamon. so we don't forget because that happens while you're going to do all the sides and the bottom okay okay
little bit. Graffiti. <laughs> Graffiti <laughs> art. Let's pour the sugar in. How much sugar is in there? Can you tell everyone? Right? Two cups. Two cups. All right, pour your two cups of sugar in. Excellent. Now, I am going to pour a cup of oil. This is a cup, right? Brand new. That is one cup, correct. And I need, we need a cup and a quarter. So, hold that over the bowl. Dump that in. Excellent. Now a cup and a quarter. Correct. Well, you can crack one, but let me dump it. How's that sound? Is that a fair compromise? Yes. Okay, I think so. All right, you crack it over here on the counter. Excellent. There's one. And one more crack for me. I'm gonna add the vanilla. I got egg on my. This is what we gotta eat for tomorrow. Right? Mm -hmm. Vanilla. So two teaspoons of vanilla. Vanilla extract. Very good. Okay. What we'll do is we're gonna mix this in the mixer, and then we're gonna come back and add our coconut, pineapple, and banana. All right. Set this down. Carson, you wanna turn the mixer on? Okay. You take this. So we want to make sure this is secure. You get it on there, and then you kind of twist it until there you go, until it locks. Put yeah, that down. Please. Start it just one notch. There you go. For a second. Now you can turn it up. And up again. And up one more time. Okay. So while that gets going, I'm going to grab the ingredients that we need to put in. So let me go do that real quick, and I'll be right back by the pieces. We've got our ingredients. We're going to shut this off for a second. And we are going to dump in all of our fruit. So start with the bananas. Good job, Michelle. One cup of crushed pineapple. Now I'm gonna tell you a little secret. To make the pina colada bread, we like coconut and we like pineapple. But you, if you don't like pineapple, um, could substitute mango or papaya or really any tropical fruit you wanted to. I particularly like the pineapple. Same with the coconut, you can mix it up. The coconut binds it a little bit, but um, if you're not using it too wet, whatever the fruit is you're using, it should work. You ready to mix? Alright, put it down. Start it on low and then speed it up. One more. One more. I'm going to wash it. So let's shut this off. Ooh, that smells good. Do you smell that? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, now it's time to add our dry ingredients. So in here, we've already mixed our cinnamon, salt, All and baking soda. All of it's mixed together. So now we're going to just add about half of that into the bowl. Perfect, just about half of it. There you go. 
All right, so we're gonna put this back on and mix half of that in. And then once that's mixed, we'll add another half. Ready? All right, now start low, but we're gonna get covered in flour. Stop playing video games and I'm gonna be like, what's cooking? What's cooking? What's for lunch? What's for breakfast? Mine, 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 about, mine. <laughs> about 10 minutes in, they're all gonna come running. Because I'm already here. You already know. Alright. Okay. I'm just gonna spread this out. Mm, how are we gonna clean this? Me. I am a vacuum. <laughs> All right. Food. If, if you could wash this out for me, you think you could handle that? Okay. <laughs> I'll just take the spoon and wash it. Okay. All right. While you do that, I'm gonna put this in the oven. How's that sound? Good job cleaning it. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 60 to 65 minutes, but I will check it at 45 minutes. Here. Oh, I don't feel so good. Director, can I take five? Oh man, you ate too much of that. Well, can't blame them. Even the batter is delicious. Um, we're going to start making the glaze, and this is cooking. Um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to turn this up to high. 
you're gonna pour in your pineapple juice. And you're just gonna wait till that comes to a boil. But while you do that, you've gotta combine a couple things. So, you wanna take your half a cup of powdered sugar. You can use regular sugar if you like, and you probably could even use a sugar substitute. Um, but I like powdered sugar, it makes it more like a thicker glaze. But you also need to add to it two tablespoons of cornstarch. So I'm gonna mix it in with my powdered sugar. Make a little bit of a mess, because we all know by now that's what I do. now is we wait for this to start boiling and then we're gonna add the powdered sugar and the cornstarch and then rapidly mix it and eventually add our butter, our vanilla, and our half and half. Okay I can see it's starting to boil. So this is kind of quick acting how this works. So it's boiling just about there. Now we're gonna add the cornstarch and the powdered sugar. Get that in there. And we're gonna whisk it. And we're gonna keep whisking it until it thickens up. And then we're gonna remove it from the burner and add, I said half and half, which you can use, but I'm actually using heavy whipping cream and it is optional. It just gives it a creamier texture to the frosting or glaze. So. I'm whisking. I'm going to turn it off now that it's really boiling. Definitely thickening up quick. And now I'm going to take this off to the side. I'm going to add the half and half or heavy whipping cream. I'm going to mix that in. And then I'm going to add the butter. graceful. There are two things that don't go together with me. Now I need to add two teaspoons of vanilla. And I'm going to make a mess doing this, but you know what? It's okay. Two. Now I'm just going to whisk until that butter is melted. Now the last thing, and this is optional, but I think it makes the flavors pop if you add just a sprinkle of salt. So just a dash, one little, there you go. It brings those flavors out. Alright, this glaze nice and ready. For when this comes out of the oven, I'm just going to set it to the side. It's the perfect consistency, not too thick, not too thin. And when that bread comes out of the oven, we'll pour it over. All right, everyone. So excited. It's done. It took about 70 minutes at 350. Um, it came out of the pan, as you can see, perfectly, because Carson did an excellent job with flouring and greasing the pan. And now we have to put that delicious glaze on. Carson's going to help me. So we're going to just move this right over here. Take a look at it. It's perfect. And now we're going to glaze it. You glaze that side, I glaze this side. How's that sound? Right, let me in real quick. There you go. So you do that side, I do this side. How's that sound? Better than toast. So delicious. I guess sing every time you talk. <laughs>
just go along with the song. Do you think it looks good? I think it looks good. Let's get it all on there, though. You don't want to miss one drop of the glaze, right? Oh, uh, we might have to miss one drop if it's stuck. <laughs> Cover it. Cover that, baby. All right, kiddo. You ready to try it? Mm -hmm. Now let's try and tell them what we think. so good it knocked you off your stool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I think we did good, right? High five. I hope you guys enjoy this as much as we are gonna enjoy this. It is delicious. Like I said, we are having it as a dessert, but it will probably get served for breakfast one day. With a little yogurt or a side of fruit. So, enjoy it, and I can't wait to see you again. Bye-bye. Now, I'm gonna add the vanilla. I got egg on my, just that's what we got aprons for, right? <laughs> Good job, Mama, hot mess days. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are learning all my nicknames now. All right.